O saving victim opening wide, the gates of heaven to man below are foes pressed hard on every side. Thy aid supply, thy strength bestow. O praise and thanks to thee ascend, forevermore blessed one in three. O grant us life that shall not end in our true native land with thee. Amen. We kneel, O Lord, before your sacrament as your people, before the sacrament of your death, which gives us life, before the sacrament of your silence, which speaks out more clearly than all the chatter of our hearts, before the sacrament of your body, which ascended from this earth is the guarantee of heaven. Gazing up at that body, we implore you, live in us, and let your spirit fill us. We believe in your strength which conquers through our weakness, in your mercy which has already triumphed over our wretchedness, in your truth which has overcome our lies, in your freedom which has enlarged our narrowness. Live in us. Let us obey your commandments joyfully in your spirit, which no longer needs any law. Let us hope bravely against all hope, even for the blessings of this earth, for your spirit can change even the face of the earth, not heaven alone, but the earth too shall be full of your glory. Even if we are defeated in this struggle for this new world, we shall bear the palm of life so long as we have fought bravely for it to the end. It is your will, which is the last we can or will say of ourselves, the word of your grace. The spirit in which we affirm our faith is your Holy Spirit. We are pardoned now and with your grace for all eternity. Amen. In the past, every icon painter began his or her career by reproducing the scene of the transfiguration. Not to escape into some imaginary paradise, but to die to self by opening the self to beauty crucified. The destiny of every Christian is written between two mountains, from Calvary to the mountain of the Transfiguration. The face of the living God is to be seen in the faces of those who listen to Christ's word and are transformed by it.
strengthen them for coming strife, our Saviour climbed the heights with Peter, James and John, his friends, and showed them heaven's light. With Moses and Elijah there, who spoke of coming doom, the Christ stood radiant as the sun to point beyond the tomb. May Tabor's light and wondrous news shine on our Lenten days that, seeking naught but Jesus Christ, our penance may be praise. Stay with me, and then I shall begin to shine as thou shinest, so to shine as to be a light to others. The light, O oh Jesus, will be all from thee, none of it will be mine, no merit to me. It will be thou who shinest through me upon others. O oh, let me thus praise thee, in the way which thou dost love best, by shining on all those around me. Give light to them as well as to me, light to them with me, through me. Teach me to follow forth thy praise, thy truth, thy will. Make me preach thee without preaching, not by words, but by my example and by the catching force, the sympathetic influence of what I do. Be my visible resemblance to thy saints and the evident fullness of the love which my heart bears to thee. So we come before you, Lord, in intercession for our church, for the broken world in which we live, for all who suffer needlessly. In prayer for justice, that your kingdom may come on earth as it is in heaven. In prayer for all who are in need, in particular, for those who are refugees from this world's conflict. We offer to you this new week the people with whom we shall spend it, the life of our parish, those who encourage and support us day by day, and those we know to be in need. And among them in particular, prayers are asked for Mike. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Therefore we before him bending, this great sacrament revealed. Types and shadows have then been, for the new rite is here. 
Faith our outward sense befriending makes the inward vision clear. Glory let us give and blessing to the Father and the Son. On our might and praise addressing while eternal ages run, ever to his love confessing, who from both with both is one. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Amen. Let us adore forever the most holy sacrament. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us adore forever the most holy sacrament. 